do the fucking chicken, do 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 it right now, do 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 the fucking chicken, do it right now. Oh Lord, have mercy. Um, uh, uh actually, I want to give a shout out uh to the arrival, um, and that are some repats. I watched their videos, and um, actually their story inspired this video that I'm about to do right now. I'm just going to make it like a story time. And uh, the what inspired me was they got a couple, well, they found out the hard way that their rooster killed um, the little baby chick. And Sometimes that does happen. And that's uh, another reason why you have to be very careful when you have uh, like certain animals, like cats, tom cats. A lot of times they eat the babies they, and um, leave the little heads just nice and neat. Um, so this story was actually inspired by what happened to them as they added two more chickens to their, uh, you know, and introduced him to their chicken house. So as a lot of y'all know, I used to have, well, I used to try to raise horses, you know, back in the day. And, uh, but what it was, we were on the farm. We was out there just doing stuff. We ain't had no business. But what we did was we had a chicken house. We had doves. We had pheasants. Um, and like I said, uh, a lot of Arabian mares. And one stud um, named, uh, uh, I forgot what that horse was named. I can't even think of his name right now. But anyway, the story that cracked me up is we had this rooster. And this rooster was so sick that we used to call him Crazy Chicken. And the reason why we called him Crazy Chicken is because there wasn't anything that he wouldn't go after. I really believe he should have been a fighting cop, you know, as opposed to just running around the uh, farm. Anyway, he would chase. Anytime we see a human, he go after you. And y'all know they got those spurs on their um you know legs so he they jump on you and he try to he fly and try to dig them spurs in you he was really out of control right so we called him crazy chicken well my crazy chicken story was one day i came out and i wasn't even thinking about him because i was mad um, and I came out of the door and I just started walking. Cause usually when we go out, we look for crazy chicken. Be like, where that damn chicken? Um, uh, uh, but this particular day I was a little angry. I think I forgot something at the store and I had to go back. So as I left outside of the, uh, door, I closed the door and lo and behold, who came out from behind the bushes? Crazy chicken. Crazy chicken came from out of the bushes, out of nowhere, and he was on me. And I was like, oh, sh my God. So I had to run. Oh, God, I had to run. And I was on the, so I ran to the car. I'm on the driver's side now. I flung the door open, and I think maybe it was about maybe two or two feet, maybe four feet between us. All he had to do was really, you know, jump up and real high and it would have freaked me out so he didn't know that so he's chased me for a while so but when he got to the door i slammed the door why his comb got stuck inside the door he yanked it off and he was still going y'all would have think a uh, thought that that would have stopped crazy chicken from his reign of terror. 
It did it. He was just the funniest looking damn chicken you ever saw. He didn't have no comb on the top of his head at all. He just, he had his spurs. And he was still a holy terror. He was, whole, I think eventually, uh, unfortunately, Crazy Chicken got uh, hit by a car. Because like I said, he was just crazy. He would chase anything and be aggressive towards it. Um, and that's what I'm sending a shout out to them on their page. Uh, but that's what inspired the story time today. I tell you, when you got chickens and you have a rooster, oh, he struts and he tries to run everything, everything. And you can learn a lot when you live off the land. And I miss it so much. And that's what, uh, I aim to get back to living off the land and um, watching those things, <laughs> watch nature just transpire. I love, um, I, we had guineas, guinea, and I love watching the guineas. I love watching the peacocks because it was the males. A lot of people didn't know. I was like, it's the male that show all those pretty colors like that. He's strutting his stuff just like men do. Um, you know, they, 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 they act like they all that, but at the end of the day, everything they do is to get a woman. And at the end of the day, they like a complete, complete until they get a woman to civilize them. And it's really just that simple. You don't have to like what I said, but it's the truth. Um, so <laughs> I'm saying that to say. If you've ever lived on a farm and you got a real, 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 real crazy rooster, you might want to fight him. <laughs> in some laws, you still can fight chickens. And, you know, in some states, I mean, you still can fight chickens. Uh, cockfighting is what they call it. Um, yeah. It's the oldest, oldest, uh, one of the oldest things in uh, history. Is the sport of cockfighting. All right, you guys. I thought I'd tell y'all that story because to me it was just crazy. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.